Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 275, January 16th of 2024. This meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. We have some new people in the chat. That's great. Love to have you guys here. Uh, if you are here, go ahead and say hi. If you haven't already, we see all of Bert and Ron and Abid. Uh, that's our roll call. Uh, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't in chat hanging out with us right now. And what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the Wix 5 release plan. Uh, just want to kind of review it one more time for those of you that didn't stick around to the end of last week's meeting. Uh, you might be a little surprised. And then we'll do triage because that's what we're going to do. And we'll take any questions, comments, things that people want to talk about. Uh, but it probably needs to be about Wix 5 because otherwise, eh. All right, here we go. Wix 5 release plan. All of those dates are basically the same as what I proposed last week at the beginning of the meeting last week, except they're shifted by one day to make them Tuesdays instead of Mondays because, well, we do meetings on Tuesdays and that kind of lines up better anyway. Um, makes a lot of sense. So uh, uh, nothing too surprising if you caught the last meeting and then stopped before the end and went, oh, I now know what they're doing for voice five. We just shifted everything one day because it feels a little cleaner, except the release date because that's... Immovable. Well, that's not true. We can move any of these dates that we feel the need to. Um, but so far, this looks pretty reasonable. So this is what we're working towards. Um, and we are learning from Wix 5 how many of these we need and stuff like that. Um, I've said this a couple of times. Wix 5 feels different from Wix 4. Wix 4 being forever and ever and ever with ginormous amounts of change. Wix 5 being narrowed and targeted. You know, do we really need three RCs and a release? Maybe, maybe not, but we're going to learn this time and we will learn you know, a lot. Okay, dokey. Uh, that's it. That's Wix 5. We're working towards that. We will talk about the issues after we review the new issues. So I guess we should go triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right, here we go. Uh, three things today. Um, we'll just start at the top. 7945. So they have this code with the component ref, the component, and the file. They get an error that the component is inaccessible due to its protection level. Oh, yeah, because they have no component ID. The ID defaults to the file ID, but the accessibility doesn't travel with it. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it, it's an explicit change, an explicit choice. Um, we talked about the I opened an issue at some point in the past beyond my memory so it could have been yesterday or whatever um, about the current way we default we still default some ids yeah um, we don't default all ids and where we change the default we updated the the conversion tool to explicitly id things that uh, change between Wix three and Wix four. Yeah. Um, we did not do that for the component ID uh, because we kept the current default. And but the de sorry, the default is to default to the the ID of the key path, um, whereas like file defaults to a private generated ID. Almost all IDs in Wix now default to a generated ID. Yeah, component is unusual yes, in that is. way. It is. It but is. for good reason, because ID to the key path makes it a lot of sense when you're looking at log files and such. Yeah, um, for sure. For sure. Yeah, so the thing is, should the accessibility travel from the key path? Um, if you don't specify an ID... Yeah, this this comes back to the ID that the the ID the idea that if you want to refer to something, give it an explicit ID, uh, which kind of solves a lot of the problems we had in Wix three with some of our defaulting logic, because sometimes you can't have a reasonable default, like from file name. Yeah, but if you specify the ID, should the component get the of the key path, should the component get the same accessibility on it? <sighs> so it, it, I'm I'm struggling with the 
Yeah, it could, unless we want to stick to that that um, point you just made that if you want an ID to be public, you need to explicitly provide it. Yep. Um, so the documentation is um, the bug here is either we fix we improve the documentation to make it clear that the accessibility does not travel or we make the accessibility travel. And then the issue that I opened was we should try to figure out how to give a reasonable private ID to components if they cannot default to their key path ID. Right. I remember that. That was right. That was something else. Yeah. That and was... I went down the road far enough to say, oh, this is a hard problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they're, they're, you know, you need data to generate a stable ID. And Correct. Without, uh, yeah, you know, obviously the key path ID is the best ID, and without it, it's really tough to come up with a good ID. There are so many extra attributes on here that are annoying me. Like all that, yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. All of that, and this should be Component. set by a different way, in my opinion, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um... Does the peanut gallery have any thoughts of the accessibility should travel? I'm curious if anybody else has opinions either way. Part of me really wants to stick to the hard line that if you want to make it public, make it public. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I appreciate that logic. Um, on the other hand, I will say that if we default to a public ID, we should use the public ID. For the file, if, if so, if you're saying the accessibility given, should travel. I, I well, yes, yes. It it seems, it, again, if we were generating an ID, keep it private, absolutely. Um, but it's one of those. Well, yeah. I gave something an ID, and yeah, all right. That's probably I, that's probably the right thing is to have the accessibility travel or stay the same. Uh, from the key path. Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably the thing. Okay. I'll take this one. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard to fix. It just have to a pass one the ID down. It's is a one-liner. Is it? Today, we explicitly create the ID with section visibility, I think. Yep. And uh, I, I does think it, if you I, change that, I don't know the, that you may only the, have um, my point is you may only have the string of the key path. You may not have the ID of the key path. So you won't know if the oh, yeah. key path is public or not. So it might not be a one liner. No, that's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Just so we're on the same page. So you said one liner. I'm like, that means that we're returning the ID. And I don't think we're returning the ID of the key path. Could um, be. So that'll I'll, be a I'll have change. To, yeah, that that could be a bigger change. Um, although I think either change would be dwarfed by the test changes. Yeah, pro yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as it is with Wix 4 bugs at this point, right? Most of them are small yep. because, you know, that's all they're going to do. Okay, so, uh, all right, 7945 off the races. 7946. Uh, core compile step user Wix XE does not include parameters in parameter. Inclu inclu does not include in parameters the WSS files generated by heat. Okay, so you generate some files by heat. Um, this works for me because uh, I know I did this in the deployment dojo. Uh, I'll generate. I, I left oh, a that they're, they're really generated before refresh. build, and they're not. Yeah, that may be true. No, it's not a synchronization issue. It's a when the files get scanned. So you have to you have to set the thing before the right time. And if you use the harvest file, they do the right thing. Or not har not har uh, the harvest directory mm -hmm. task or whatever, it does the right thing. Um, so yeah, they gotta get their scheduling right. This is not a Wix bug. This is there's something wrong there. Their before build may not be the right choice, is really what it comes down to. And they if they want to do this by hand, which they don't provide their enough of their project, 
that they need to. Yeah. So basically, they don't understand MS Build enough, which is fair because it's complicated and there's a lot of part moving parts in there. Um, but they probably just scheduled their thing incorrectly. It does work if you use Harvest Directory because I did that on stream. So this is not our bug. This is their bug. They have to go schedule things slightly differently if they want to run heat.exe by hand. And then go look at the heat targets to see when they run because they're apparently running at the right time. Or maybe they're adding the files. Or, I don't know. Or they can add the files explicitly that they generate. It's up to them. But nope. They are doing something wrong in their MS build. All okay. right. Uh, 7955. Page not found. Okay. This got lost somewhere in the world. I don't know. Or maybe it needs to be a redirect. No, that should. That, wait, it that's... needs to be a redirect. Okay. I yeah. found one instance of this URL in the on the planet and on the planet. Is, yeah. Well, I'm sure I missed some, um, but it is you know an, an old style URL. Um, I found it somewhere on Stack Overflow. <laughs> Just go fix Stack Overflow to clear victory. No, that's a possibility. I mean. You said planet, but I mean, I don't know why you stopped there. It seems like solar system would work too. Galaxy. Well, I mean, known universe. My, my, I mean, my internet is you know one gigabit only on Earth. So <laughs> once you have to tap into the deep space network, it slows way down. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Um, okay, I I don't care either way. It's like yeah, I'll take it. Okay, I'll redirect or go fix the place that this was found. Whatever. Yeah. Because they linked to the wrong one, but whatever. Uh, cool. That's triage. All right. So we did that triage. Um, one thing came out of that. This, someone has to update their misbuilt stuff, and we need a redirect because someone put a link to a, the old style page, I guess. Yeah, it's the old style. We should keep the links working. All right. Fine, 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 fine. All right. Um, let's look at the Wix 5 issues that are open. Um, and this is a good time. I'm going to start with this one here, 7916, because this is the one that is the biggest part for me, the outer proc bootstrap applications, um, bootstrap application processes. Um, uh, this is where I'm at. This is what I've been focused on. It's, it's working exactly the way I expected it to work, which is good. But there are many, many things that I did not expect in the way. Um, and that has been challenging and frustrating. So I am cleaning problems out of the way so I can get to the solution, <laughs> to, the, to the solution. But I'm making progress. Things are still looking good. And I am, it's not working completely, but what is in there, I'm very much happier with the way that this is going to work. Um, so anyway, that's the big thing I'm working on because it's taking a little bit longer. That probably means there's a few casualties to the things that I'm going to be able to get to, um, here at the end. So, um, that's, that's why I want to bring that one up first. Um, to that end, looking at the short file name, I'm hoping I'm going to keep a few of these, hoping that I can get them because I think they're lightweight and easy. So like 7935 is one of those. Um, I want to take a swing at 7925 to kind of make our things more robust. I don't know if I can come up with a fix 7925 where setting a target framework in Wix confuses everything. I'm hoping I can block that. We'll see. Um, this is done. Okay. Probably should have signed Which that. The, sorry, 7877, ARP entry doesn't read uninstall strings. Um, that's, I guess, done. So probably should sign that to near, I guess. Yeah, probably. Sorry, I'm oh, it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. All right. Um, 7862 is one of the very few bugs that if it goes beyond RC1, we'll, pro we'll still take it. Um, everything else we really want to get before that. Uh, yeah. For new, this new isn't a bug. rabies, yeah, it's, and there's it, no code changes. Right. Um, my my goal for RC one is to have at least placeholder readmes in place, so we've made all the the you know, build side changes, all the file change. Yeah, that that yeah. sounds great. Then it's just content. Yeah, then it's content. Plus, you can see it in RC one and go, yeah, that that's where content will show up. That's great. Right. Um, anonymous directory ID is inconsistent. Seven six one. I really want to look at that because that bothers me. It bothered me when I saw it. Um, I'm hoping we can do that. 7857, Bob is working on files. 
still. I am working on files. Yep, so it's all good. That's the one Bob's on to finish up the, the big thing to finish up the world. Um, warning 75.6, warning about VB script custom actions. I guess that's already in. It's closed. Um, I should have filtered out closed. That's my problem. Okay. 7821 is a doc thing I have that can go post RC1. I, maybe I should change that to 5, uh, whatever. Um, I think I could change this to V5 because it's really when I kind of want to have it. But anyway, um, seven seven nine eight featured on the side property to have an empty value. We should do this. I think it's gonna be simple, so that's why I'm gonna keep that one around. Similar with seven seven eight three, the merge IDs versus restricted file names. Yeah, that. Um, all right, so we have a few fixes. Seven seven two four, the argument null exception. This, if this is the one, I think it is the package. Payload, yeah, the right? package payload. I'm not sure I'm going to get to this. I want to, uh, but it's a fairly narrow case, and it's hard to detangle, so I might not get that. I would rather get other ones than that one in the end. Um, 709, error, uh, mixing four and five extensions, all that kind of stuff. I have to do something here because we have to have a good error message when that comes out. Um, 7687, and there's another one just like it somewhere here about excluding files from Visual Studio. I just want to understand why excluding works in CS Proj and doesn't work the same in Wix Proj. Basically, I want to be more like everybody, all the other projects. So I can say, well, we're the same as everybody else. You've done weird things in your MS build. And that actually being true. And something is going awry in the auto globbing and the exclusion and that kind of stuff. Just to figure that out. Um, package name dir 78638. Yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm going to get to this okay. in two weeks. So there you go. 7638 is another one of those that's like, eh, probably not going to happen. 7622 still waiting on feedback. We'll see if we get or response to feedback. We'll see if anything happens there. Um, Although in both, so just in general, I mean, I know it will come down to a judgment call, but the general rule is, if it's not in in the next two weeks, we're not going to take it. Correct. Is that fair to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. To be clear, I'm calling out the ones that we might take post. So if I didn't call it out as yeah, you know, yeah. we could take this after, like the README, um, and the other doc thing. Yeah. No, it's not happening. Yep. Um. Uh, ref suffix for more attributes. We'll see. This is low. Seven five eight five. It's low, but it's easy. But you know, I like the idea of it, but we'll um, just kind of setting a precedent there, but it might not happen um, given the other things that are going on. It's a high likelihood of just not being important enough. Um, 7544 should move out of RC1. This is not happening. The guy that it was assigned to appreciated us removing him from it because he didn't sign up for it. And it's up for grabs and whip. It'd be cool, but it's not happening. Uh, 7466. Uh, I want to understand, but is lower on my priority of all the other things I'm doing. So that might fall off. 7465 is going to get swept, swept up in the other changes I'm making around bootstrap applications. So that will, something like this will get sorted. Uh, 7455, this is another one of those projects not removing. I think the, the previous one I talked about, about re uh, removing uh, compile items, is a, a dupe of this, but I want to go figure that out 7401 support the new unified artifacts directory in wix i really want to do that again to make us like everybody else uh, but this might be harder we'll see i have like a class of small fixes in the compiler and i have a class of small or maybe large or i don't know how hard in the ms build <laughs> space and i don't know how that's going to work out we'll see um Seven three four nine, seven three eight six, and seven three seven nine. I inherited all those. I'm going to see how things behave when I have the new uh, process model for Bootstrap applications. But uh, it's very possible yeah. all of these uh, get bumped, and someone will need to look at them. But if they do, they'll go back for upper grabs, and someone can go dig into them. Um, or maybe the new process model helps. Yeah, it might help enough that I'm like, ah, oh, okay, cool. This kind of gets it, right? makes it easy fix. I have a low confidence in that. Uh, 7311, uh, we're not doing right now, but we just have to decide if we want to take this change. Um, it's a change in a very low level API, and we have to think through what that means of if we should. Double and as I recall, this one is never used outside or within Wix. Oh. 
it's okay. it's a function that got added and maybe was used at one point but no yeah. longer is yeah well well we just have to talk about it and decide it we're not going to do that today yep. um wca initialize your log informational uh 7253 that's you bob really it's assigned to you sorry it, it's more it's not on my list hmm. Seven, Maybe I ten. already. You mentally blocked it, <sighs> or you changed Sorry. it just before the no. meeting, and now I'm. No. no uh... Oh. Sorry. No, it was just weird GitHub page behavior. Um, yeah. No. This one. This one requires a change. <clears throat> excuse me. And how. Um... <sighs> Yeah, the informational version is in the product version, version info field. And currently we have nothing at this level that gets the product version. So, um, yeah, no, not happening in the next two weeks. Yeah, all right. So that's going to slip out. Yep. Uh, 6947, I'm going to do this. Uh, that I've been doing, as I've been writing new code, I've been using this new function. It's very nice. It's much cleaner code. Uh, so I probably will do a pass because it's easy to do um, to resolve this in five, like at the end of my burn thing. I'm just going to do one pass across everything, kind of clean it up. Um, 6423 is aspirational. Probably won't happen at this point. Uh, the doc thing, we'll have a plan. We'll put together a plan. Haven't got that plan, but we'll put together a plan. Um, I keep it there because I want to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, 5494, I'm guessing we haven't heard back. Nope. Ah, next week. No. Um, no, this isn't happening. <laughs> Someone came along and said, you should, we should do this. I'm like, great, you can help. And he's like, yeah. And then never comes back. So anyway, as it is, people get into it and realize, oh, I actually have to do work. So anyway, that would be nice if someone did it, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. Probably should just kick it out now. Yeah, I'm 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 leaning toward that. I mean, no response, and we have two weeks left. Yeah, and there's no whip. Right. I mean, at this point, it's, it's not, not going to happen. It's not happening. Not that. Okay. And no result. Oh, that means things have shifted here. Do, 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 do. Um, I lost it. Oh, did you already move it? That was fast. All right. Uh, default features already done. Uh, no, no, here it is. Um, oh, related bundle logging. All right. So five, two, two, zero related bundle logging doesn't respect parent bundle log switch. It does not. Um, Bob's paused. He froze. Sorry, I'm looking. Uh, I didn't remember the history of this. Um, oh, the related bundles always go elsewhere. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, sorry, I'm actually very confused about. There's a pull request here. Uh, huh, yeah, okay. Um, there's a pull request. I will keep this. All right, go look at it. And look at the pull request and All right. should be able to do that in the next two weeks. Cool. All right. So that's kind of the state of, of Wix 5. I, some of these bugs are going to be disappearing in the next like week is my expectation. Or not disappear. A bunch of them start getting fixed. And if they don't start getting fixed like rapidly... They're not happening. So if you have anything in here that you really want to see get fixed, well, you could jump on it and let us know that, hey, hey, I want to work on this because we'd really like to see this fixed. Um, otherwise, yeah, it moves on into the potential future of Wix 6 or whatever comes beyond that. So um, yeah, there we go. That's the state of Wix 5 right now. So to that end, Questions, comments, things people want to talk about, stuff going on, things we need. Um, obviously, we're just down to the end. A couple big things as it is. Nothing like the last minute, but 
it's kind of forcing functions to get the burn processes. That's probably the biggest change in Wix 5. Oh, no, it is definitely the biggest change in Wix 5. Um, and um, has a few breaking things, but it will fix a bunch of problems. So that is good stuff. So anyway, that's all I have. We'll be back in two weeks and we will be talking about the release probably. Um, I don't know that we will, we may, depending on how the release timing is going and how things are, you know, mechanically moving along, we may not do like a whole lot of triage or other things like that. It may just be a meeting of what's the state of the Wix 5 um, RC1 build and then get out of Dodge pretty quick. Um, unless the build is proceeding very well and there's no hiccups or anything like that, but. Haha, <laughs> no hiccups. <laughs> you know, there's. It is we, possible. We, yeah, we depend on infrastructure and I don't trust the infrastructure. So if I don't trust it, then I'm not disappointed when it fails me. Um, but, you know, it's been good in the past. And so it just might require some more, you know, banging about with the hammer to make things kind of work about sometimes. So, um, or it could all go very smoothly. We'll see. And if it's going smoothly, then it'll be running in the background while we talk about uh, where we're at. So we'll see that. So that's today. That's the meeting. I don't think we have anything else. We'll close it up in a half hour unless someone brings up something and I'm just kind of filling space um, to make sure that there's enough chance for everybody to kind of go, yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about. And all that kind of good stuff. Um, all right. Well, I think it's been a bit. People should have known the questions and comments were coming and started typing their things. Um, great to have all of you here. We will be back in two weeks and hopefully we're just talking about, Hey, the build's happening in the background. It'll be uploaded today. Everything will be great and beautiful and wonderful. Wix five RC one will be out there and people can start talking about it. And we will be looking at, you know, uh, this list of issues being empty for Wix five RC one and on to seeing what we get in RC two for the weeks that come after that. So. That's the space of the world. Uh, you guys have a good one. We'll see you in two weeks. That would be January 30th. All right. All right. Have fun. Later, people. Bye. Bye.